So there we are. I think we're now recording. So hi, Bernadette. Great um, to have you here today. Thank you for joining me for this um, coffee break chat that we've got. We've both just said um, we're definitely starting off with the water instead of um, any coffee right now. So that's always good. But let's find out a little bit more about you. You were on our EBA last year. So um, let's jump right in. What got you into the events industry? Yeah, thank you so much for having me on here. It's, it's great to kind of um, talk about it some more. So um, I got into events quite a few years ago now. I went into a, a corporate company just, just as admin staff. And from that, got involved in quite a lot of their events. And I just absolutely loved it. So um, kind of sat, sat down, my manager was like, can I, can I kind of switch teams? And, <laughs> Can we make a career path for me to go into that? And um, yeah, within three months, I was in that team. And I honestly, I don't think I'd do anything else now. Um, <laughs> I absolutely love um, kind of the thrill you get with planning events and the creativity. Um, yes, yeah, so I suppose it was kind of a, an accident I ended up in it. It was never like something I'd planned to do from a young age or whatever. Um, but yeah, love it. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how many people say that, though. Um, we've recently done some some interviews for uh, part of our IBTM Connect site. And so many of the people on there, big people in the events industry have all said, oh, you know, I kind of stumbled into it by accident. It wasn't something that I planned on doing, but you kind of just fall into it. And yeah. I, I yeah, I think I've kind of done the same as well. So um, it's, yeah, it's I like it's a nice way. way. I think it is nice that way because you don't have that like I don't know that pressure almost and I think you enjoy it more maybe yeah it's not yeah. something that you've aimed to do it's something you get into because you enjoy it yeah 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 which is really nice I really like that and so from your event experience did you then kind of come up with the idea for the events professionals journal through that or was it something that you noticed while you were working in events yeah so like a bit of both really I think um I'd before going into the industry, I I hadn't had that kind of insight to how um, stressful it can be. And there is definitely a good stress to working in events. Um, uh, it drives us, it gets us the results. But there is obviously that that stage where it, where it can go a bit too far. Yeah. I reached that stage. The most stressful event. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, something like that. Forbes, yeah, alongside kind of army personnel and fire. <laughs> so, I mean, Says something, doesn't it? It does, it does. Um, we just carried out um, some research actually as well, which is which is up on the website. And, and although some of the stats are really good, there is some that are like, oh, you know, we still have quite a way to go. But yeah, so I I, I basically burnt out and um, just put too much pressure on myself and had too much too much going on. So I started journaling to help me get through that basically. So it was naturally more kind of towards events because obviously that's what I did, um, I do. So um, I worked with a girl who was also going through the exact same thing. So I said, oh, look, like, I'm doing this. So what, like, it's really helped me, why don't you try it? And it made a really big difference to her. And then IBTM EBA got announced and um, people were like, why don't you just like, you know, try it and see, you know, if there's a demand for it. And uh, yeah, the Event Professionals Journal was born. <laughs> brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. And and through the EBA, you obviously then pitched it at IBTM World. What did you feel about that? I think I'd be terrified to go up on a stage and, and talk yeah. to people like that. But um, I mean, it's um, it was a real experience. I still remember David um, calling me and I was at Flip Out, the trampoline park. <laughs> Not working. And um, yeah, he told me that I was a finalist and I was just so delighted because I don't know, I think if you have an idea, it's, it's you can think it's great, but to get um, the kind of almost approval um, yeah. that it is actually a really good idea was, was really nice. And um, yeah, it was a very quick turnaround. So um, turned the idea into a business and product within seven weeks. Wow. Yeah. So, um, it, but it was quite uh, stressful. <laughs> <laughs> the good, the good kind of stress. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it is a very scary prospect, I think. But the way in which kind of IBTM had organised it, and um, we all got given mentors, it made it a lot easier. It ended up being like we were kind of pitching to to almost like friends rather than nice. people who were like judging us if that makes yeah. sense yeah yeah I really like that yeah it's nice to have that connection with someone before you talk to them because then it doesn't feel quite so intimidating yeah, exactly. and I mean 
like at the end of the day none of them are there to you know to be nasty or whatever like event industry is is known for everyone being really supportive and and uh you know surrounds everyone to make them feel better so you know they're never going to be nasty and my mentor was there she was in the crowd as well so it was really oh, nice <laughs> to uh to see her there as well it's very reassuring absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And um, what kind of advice would you give to someone who is thinking about doing it themselves? When if if they're looking to to apply this year, what would you tell them? Oh my gosh! I mean, absolutely apply because there's there's like what's the worst that can happen if you apply and don't get it? Um, so yeah, hundred percent apply. Um, and just if you then do, you know, get it. If you become a finalist, just um, really do practice and plan. <laughs> listen to the calls because um we we had like met i'm not sure if you're doing this year but we had uh, like mentoring calls and yep. um, as a group and then as well individually um they were so beneficial and really helped kind of set out the process so um yeah definitely join as many of those as you can and, and yeah plan practice and put time into it but don't be scared <laughs> <laughs> And I guess journaling kind of helped with that as well to stop you being scared, you know, it did, setting it all out. It did. It definitely did. It, it was, um, I had quite a few comments saying it's, it's, uh, it's quite funny how stressful it is for you to create a, a, a well-being journal. <laughs> so it's different, obviously, when you're doing it yourself in a notepad, when you're turning it into a product. It's, um, but I would uh, forget the day of my first day writing it in the actual physical uh, product was, was, was really nice. Oh, brilliant is that probably one of the things you most enjoyed then or what other things have you ha been able to do now that you've got it on the market yeah I d for me for me it's I just find it really re rewarding like knowing that it can and is helping other people um my favorite bit was definitely launching it at IBTM and standing up on the stage and kind of getting it out there and having everyone's feedback it was really nice um, but yeah, for me, it's every time I get a message from someone to say how much it's helping. It just oh, brilliant. I've done it for. So um, obviously, my main business is an event management company. So yeah. you know, it's just something I'm kind of doing just to kind of help help the industry. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the industry needs some help at the moment. Yeah, I think now more than ever. Right. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. People go out and buy event professional journals now. They'll be very helpful. <laughs> I mean, I've definitely started journaling throughout um, yeah. throughout the whole crisis and everything. It's just nice to have everything down in one place yeah. to manage it all in one in one go. I've got so many bullet journals on the go. <laughs> yeah, oh, lovely. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, that's really good. How do you journal? Do you are you a coloured pen kind of person or are you a? a I'm not. No, you know, I have, a I have a certain, certain pen that oh, I, it actually I, ran out on me this morning and I went into a bit of a panic. <laughs> certain pen that's only used for the journal uh yeah it's black it's a uh, it's quite fine it's very boring are you a yeah. colored are you a, a colored kind of girl highlighters kind of person really yeah. i do quite like the highlighter but then i highlight things that are important but then everything yeah. ends up being important so, it's just everything's important. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's a bit of my issue but um but if someone's not got into journaling like i know we can both talk about why we love it but why would you recommend it what would you say is the best you know the best reason to get into it so it's it's different for everyone um for me I mean even for me there's days I wake up and I'm like oh you know do I want a journal but I mean it's it's like two minutes on average out of out of the day yeah um and with the productivity and kind of focus and positivity it gives back like it's just it's completely worth it so I I tend to do it like when a kettle is boiling for a cup of tea or I even sometimes do it when I'm brushing my teeth. <laughs> sometimes I'll be doing it because it's because like the way the journal is, it's quite structured. So um, although you do obviously have to think about it, it's quite guided, which is which is quite nice. Yeah. But, uh, for me, I think like if you haven't tried um, journal, it's what I always say. Like, what's the harm in trying? Like, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah. You just won't enjoy it, and, that, and that's it. Um, it's it. You know, there's tons of research out there to show how beneficial it is. So I think um, just, yeah, just try it. And if it helps you, then amazing. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, well, thank you for your time today, Bernadette. It's been brilliant chatting with you. And I hope people are, are inspired to, to get journaling, to, to look into the Event Professionals Journal and to have a look at IBTM as well and, and see if they want to apply to the EBA. 
Absolutely, they should. It's it's uh, without without the IBTM IBTM EBA, the Event Professionals Journal wouldn't be a, a product that's available to people. So um, yeah, a hundred percent people should apply. <laughs> oh well, brilliant. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.